Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a nice hash alternative. So, as you know, nice hash pretty much shut down in a few uh, countries, let alone just going uh, and changing to KYC for mining. So, if you do want to mine on nice hash, you have to do KYC, which I've never been a believer in. You shouldn't have to use KYC in order to mine crypto, and all these things are supposed to be totally anonymous. So I've always been kind of finding ways to get around like nice hash or like alternatives and stuff like that. And recently I came across Cryptex here. Now it's an all in one app. As you can see, you can mine with CPU and GPU and it will auto pick the most profitable algorithm for you, just like nice hash used to do. And it's all in this all in one software. It's nice and simple to use. As you see, it lists all of your CPUs and GPUs and things like that. Of course, I'm not gonna keep this running because like, this is just one of my computers I have sitting around. It only makes like four bucks, five bucks a month. As you see, it's literally just an old tower I have sitting in my living room. So it's nothing crazy by any means. I don't intend to mine on it. I'm just using it to show you guys the software and this program and how to get it up and running in case you are looking for something alternative to nice hash. If you're a miner that likes the all in one software on windows like this, and you just want to fire it up, click one button and let it do its thing. This is an easy way. It's good for people that maybe have a strong gaming PC and they game during the day and maybe at nighttime or the evening, they decide to do a little bit of crypto mining. So this just makes it so you can be, uh, you can mine any algorithm and be paid in Bitcoin, Litecoin, USDC, USDT, pretty much exactly similar to what uh, NiceHash was. So I will be going over all that, where to download this, where to set up and how to get it rolling. It's pretty straightforward, of course, since I'm on Windows, I use MSI Afterburner here. So as we can see, I use this to tweak the 1650. I only have a GTX 1650 four gigabyte. So like I said, I'm just using this for testing purposes. It's one of my benchmark computers. I've been running it for a couple days. I've been building up a little bit of balance. I've ran it before, but it looks like they've done a lot of updates and made it a lot nicer than what it used to be. And they have their own pool. So if you do want to mine to Cryptex on like Hive OS or something, you can definitely go ahead and do that. I'll show you their website their pool and how to download the software and get it rolling. Again, this is just for Windows. I don't know how it runs on Linux, if it even can or anything like that. This is strictly just for Windows and I am using Windows 10, not Windows 11 or anything like that. Strictly Windows 10. So I'll post this link in the description, but you just come over to the Cryptex website here and it's simple. You just go over here and click download Cryptex Miner V4. You can go ahead and try the beta version if you want, but I just stick to the uh, official release instead of trying like betas or anything like that and as you see uh, it offers extreme performance for your ASIC FPGA and GPU farms so you can use this in multiple ways and formats I believe they have like their own OS as well so as you see it kind of tells you roughly what you'll make so if you have a gaming PC you have a Ryzen 7 and a 3070 at least you make a hundred bucks a month a mining rig, Ryzen 9, 5990, and 8, 3080s, you make 350 a month, and so on and so forth. So I believe they have like a whole operating system that you can flash onto. I don't know if it's Hive OS or your ASIC rigs, but you'll be able to go ahead and just run here. And as you see, you can withdraw, uh, the minimum amount is just 50 cents, and you can withdraw directly to Visa, MasterCard, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Amazon, Fullet, uh, Litecoin, USDT, and a few others. All you have to do, like I said, is just download the app, you log in or create an account, you just sign up with email password, they don't ask for anything else. And all you do is keep this running in the background or you can just have it fully dedicated. They do have like a pro and light mode. So as you see here, mine has this all fully listed, it looks all nice. But if you go here and go and you take out the pro mode, you'll be able to see it's a little nicer looking, easier looking for people that might not have the experience per se. So as you see here, it says working full mode, how much you have available in your balance. And all you do is click here. So let's say when if I'm using the computer and I don't want it to be running at full power, you click this full mode option and you can click light mode or pause. So anytime it notices you're on using like, say you're on there on Facebook, on Google, just anything of the sort, it will automatically slow down the mining so you're not at 100%. I just keep it at full mode because obviously I don't really use this computer outside of just benchmarking and testing. But of course you can pause it, light mode just depends on it. 
You can use CPU, you don't have to, but I personally just use Pro Mode. So I flick that on and it's gonna give you a whole list of algorithms underneath the gear. So you can go through and specifically select certain ones. Obviously they don't have every single algorithm out there. They just have the ones that are kind of more known, a little more popular, that's profitable, that are still mineable to this day because there's a lot of algorithms that are dropping off or switching to proof of stake. And as you see here, they have all their miners, so you can select and deselect them. And there's more in-depth settings as well. So it's nothing difficult. I'm not going to show you the process since I have it already set up and installed. But all you do is double click it and you follow the on-screen setup. So just click next, next, next. I'll see if I can kind of show you. Yeah, all you do is click I agree. And then as you see, mine's already running so it can't install. It's as simple as that. There's not much to it. And like I said, once you make the account, they don't ask for KYC or anything like that. They just have the account so you can set up your wallet and stuff like that. So as you see, this is my dashboard. Again, I don't have much. I'm just kind of testing this out. You can go to hardware here and it shows you what you're mining currently and everything like that. You can go to payout, see what you've uh, been paid overall. And as you see here, here's all the options for payouts. So you do have a good handful of coins to try and just get paid out in. All of them have their limits like Bitcoin, Bitcoin Lightning, things like that. So the fees for Bitcoin obviously is a bit higher. So you'd want a higher amount of Bitcoin before withdrawing that or anything. Litecoin will probably be your best bet because it's like the lowest amount of fees. And this usually doesn't take too much. Uh, the minimum withdraw is 0.015 LTC, which is not much Litecoin. So they kind of have different alternatives, obviously just depending on how much you're able to mine, depending on your rig and things like that. If we go over here and on the side here, there's mining pools. You can go over to their direct mining pool here. And as you see, they have a wide variety of different coins for GPU, CPU, ASIC, they have it all broken down. And you can go ahead and just start mining through HiveOS to the CryptX pool if you do choose to. You can just do it through here. Again, this is pretty straightforward. There's not much to it. Again, it's kind of like nice hash. You just fire it up and you just click the power button and it will do all the benchmarking and everything for you. So you're able just to start mining in a click of a button. This really makes it easy for new people or people that maybe have no idea what mining and crypto is. This makes it an easy gateway for people to kind of get into the crypto space and understand it. And you can always start with something like this and then eventually you can go over and expand to like full on solo rigs that run on Hive OS like this. Again, these are just not running right now. But yeah, so this is a good starting point, good learning point. You can always just swap out like I have a 1650 in here. Eventually, you know, you could go get like a 3050, a 3070, 40, whatever one, throw it in there, test it out, see how you like it and eventually just build up your farm where you get to the point where you have standalone rigs that can just run this if you choose to or run Hive OS. If you're just looking for something to click and you know let it do its own thing, switch profits when things are profitable, depending on the market, this is kind of the app for you. Because unlike NiceHash and stuff, there's no KYC, there's nothing of the sort. It used to be what NiceHash was. You sign up, you download it, you run it, you let it be. Because let's say, as you see right now, I'm mining Kapow Chlor. Let's say that switches and that drops off and something becomes more profitable. It should automatically switch for me so I don't have to sit here and maintain, jump on Hive OS and manually change anything. This is all fully automatic and like I said, just gives a good entry point for people. You do have your own dashboard, like I said, so you can just monitor things on the go. So it's just kind of a quick and easy way. I got nothing against these types. Some people don't like the all-in-one type of thing, so that's why I suggested checking out the pools on here. And again, sorry for the recording like this, just showing the screen. Obviously, I'm not going to screen record on there when it's mining at 100%. The screen recording kind of wouldn't work out too well there. But as we see here, again, I'm not making high profits or anything of the sort. I'm most likely not going to keep this running. But yeah, hopefully this brought some information to you. Hopefully it's brought some light to you. Maybe you're just someone cruising around looking, looking into the mining aspect, seeing if you can mine at home. Well, this is a good starting point for you. So hopefully this brought some information and light to you and helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content and it is helping you out. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.